Hey guys, Darth Glork here, back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We are super, super, super far. Uh, last couple of episodes, we completed Elodin, and we were back. We came back to Vol to wrap up some missions, um, and that's where we are now. So, um, we will. Uh, we do have to battle the uh, the um, what's it called the architect creature, but we will not be doing that. Um, we do technically have three of those little buggers to fight, but we're, we're not doing it. Because that's how I roll. So, we have some other things to do here, and then we will probably be moving on to story stuff pretty quickly. I don't think... I don't think we have too much left, compar comparatively-wise. Hello, peons. Eat Everybody out. Cannot hide over there. Alright, well that's awkward. Hang on, I want another attempt. That was embarrassing. There we go. I am invincible. Alright. We got him. Let's see what else we got going on here. Got some stuff to sell. Never turn that down. Alright, so we did find something, so that's interesting. But we have one more thing to grab here before we actually move on, so that's what we will be doing. Alright, let's see if we can see if we're lucky enough to be able to snipe some of these guys out before we actually have to go fight them. I don't assume we're going to get too many, but uh, you never know. See, I know I'm going to wound him. There you go, see? <laughs> Pretty easy. Whatever it is, it's somewhere over here. Hang on, I think we keep going a little bit. Ooh, this feels like a destination. I detect an Angaran data device transmitting a low frequency homing signal. Someone left it on purpose. So, a couple of things uh, that I wanted that I wanted to mention. Uh, so, firstly, uh, at some point in the future, and I, it'll obviously be a long time because I don't want to do a back-to-back -back playthrough. I want it to feel fresh again. So, at some point distantly in the future, I might come back and we might play th through this game again. Um, but the next time, do maybe be a maybe be a male writer, be a Scott writer instead, and try and obviously romancing a different person, and and then. Just to keep everything, you know, just super fresh and exciting. So, obviously, it would be like, you know, we're, we're talking probably a couple of years at least. Because I want it to be, I want it to play it distantly enough that it feels fresh for you guys and for me. So, if we ever actually did that, um, going back through, maybe being a guy, uh, romancing a different character, and then uh, building our character differently. Maybe going heavy on the biotics instead. Um, 
try using different guns on purpose, you know, whatever we did. So maybe distantly in the future we might do that. So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, I actually have been talking to one of my to a couple of my subscribers, and I have recently gotten uh, several requests of to do more slideshows. Um, it has been several years. I, I think like it's been three or four years maybe since I put up a slideshow on my channel. So it's been a long time, but I have gotten several requests uh, in recent in recent times about putting up more. Um, so. If, and so it sounds like you guys are pretty interested in getting some, in in seeing some more uh, slideshows. So, you know, p just like I did before, pick a good song, um, a song that fits, and then do a, a, a slideshow about a character or a couple. Now, I am much better at making slideshows than AMVs. I'm not saying my AMVs are bad, but I know, I know they're not the best. Um, you know, that I, it's it's fun for me to do it, but it... it it's often difficult to acquire the video clips, um, and I want it to make it good, and so it, it's a lot of work. Um, now, slideshows are a great deal easier to make creatively, um, but they are still fun, and I, and I still would put in a lot of work. I want them. I still want them to be good. So uh, there actually might be slideshows coming out soon on my, on my channel again. I'm not saying it'll be regular like my gaming content. My gaming is still my mainstay of my channel, but there might be some slideshows to help break it up. So anyway, so you you might could. Uh, uh, could look forward to that so that would be a sort of a cool bat blast from the past for me as well because uh, I, I like I said it's been several years since I put up any kind of slideshow so that would be kind of cool for me and hopefully for you guys as well but anyway back to the game Whatever happened here, just missed it. where oh here they come Wait. The resistance needs to know what happened out here. Oh my. Oh my. Whoop. I thought I was thought I was close enough to uh grab that. Anyway, we can put him away. I like how my immediate reaction was to lob two grenades at my own feet. Obviously, it worked because I like assassinated them all. So obviously, it was the right call. But still, okay. We already have charge. Let's see. We already have all the guns maxed out. Uh, I think we were probably leveling. Oh, I guess I leveled twice. Anyway, I think we were leveling the passive because I. Oh no, that's leveled o offensive tech. I guess. So let's see. Tech damage versus armor or versus shields. I think I'd rather have him be stronger against shields. And then we have synthetics, uh, detonator, electric damage. Let's go ahead and go to synthetic so he's a little more anti-robot, so to speak. Cool, that's fun. And then let's go ahead and check Vetra. Yeah, she can level. Drac is okay. Um, I have four points left, but there's not really much point in getting all these. Unless, I mean... The only, the next one we could actually put into might be offensive biotics, just because charge is obviously offensive. So it's it's a it's a passive that wouldn't be bad. Oh, barrier would be good too because it's a bo a boost to shield. So we do have a couple of passive trees that we could work through. And actually, we might just go ahead and grab these. This will help. Uh, that'll help my shields. So anyway. So yeah, well, I'm just trying to grab as much um, as much passive as possible because if you have like a thousand different abilities that are all stuff you have to activate, there's really not much point in having them all because you can only equip three at a time. And I suppose you could have a lot and then sort like switch them up as the situation demanded. But I am way too lazy for that. I can just I can already call it way too lazy for that. I don't want to have to be switching my powers every time I go into combat. Like I'd rather have a a set of powers that serve me well overall, and then call it good. Because I'm super lazy that way. But anyway, I think we are done on Vold. We have some other other missions here, but it's nothing super important. So, um, I think the only other missions we have here is to battle the Architect, and I am not interested. Because I am a coward! That's why! And I figure the sooner we own up to it, the better for all of us it'll be. Alright. Thank you, Suvi, my love. Quick to check though. Okay, PB something big, no time to type. Come, come, come. Okay. Better be important, little PB. Hey 
Hey there, what's new? Huh? Funny you should ask. I need to know, if I had something really important to do, could I count on you to help? To come along? If it's as exciting as you make it sound, it's pretty damned exciting. Thanks to my newly remnant augmented scanner, I'm on to something big. Hear that signal? Best I can tell, it's coming from a piece of raw remnant programming tech. A building block in an unused state. My eyes bulge thinking what we might be able to learn from it, or do with it. It's like a rem tech wild card. The kind of mystery I live for. I have to get it. There's no time to waste, right? Okay. That's it? No preamble, no further interrogations, just okay? You're in? I'm in. Yes! That your game means the world to me. Loading the coordinates into the galaxy map. Consider me primed and ready. Ah, PB's loyalty mission. Sweet. Well, that actually might be what we're doing next. Soon enough. I thought there was... Oh, yeah. So, it occurs to me that I have not put any kind of work into uh, researching any stuff. I mean, like, actually making armors and stuff. And even though it's really late in the game, and I really should have been on this earlier, but I think we might jump on it to, uh, even though it's super delayed. Okay, I want to check my, check my strike teams, though. So, failure for my weak little level ones. I'm so disappointed in you. Hey, they leveled up. Nice. At least I can count on somebody. Alright, so 94. Yeah, let's go ahead and send my top team, because why not? And then this one is a 92s. That's fine. And then this one is a 70, but I guess we'll just send them because they... They should be doing something. Eventually, they have to level up eventually, right? Like, Vanquisher. Ooh. I might have to try that, even though it's probably not better. It's a sniper, but it, it looks cool enough that I think we're going to risk it and try it. But anyway, so a few things. No, not that. I wanted to go here and sell my stuff. Holy crap, look at that. I have 12 grand. Almost 13 grand in sellable credits. Dang. I like... Wow, that is just a lot of money. Okay, sorry, I'm good. Okay, so let's go ahead and research something. We need to. I want to make armor. I want and I want it to be exciting. So I've already researched this. So that's interesting. So we have remnant. So we could make a, a remnant set of armor, um, and it does health regen and damage resistance, which is a really, which is honestly really sweet. So then we have Angar and Gorilla. We have Cat Fusion. We have Helios Defender armor. What is this? Uh, ultra rare blueprint, Helios Defender. Wow, I've never seen that's trippy. I've never seen this. Interesting, that's cool. And then we have Hyper Guardian legs, yes, which is pretty standard looking. No offense, but we also have the N7, which would be super sick to make a set of N7 armor. That would be so exciting, and it's super tempting, but. I almost want to make this the Helios Defender just because it's talked about, just because it's super rare. Um, so requirements, I obviously, I have everything, but I don't have any remnant fusion, uh, remnant cores. So we couldn't even make it, so that sort of narrows that down for me. Um, but can I make any of this stuff? I should be able to, I think, right? Let's see. Uh, yes, I think. But I can only make level ones though, right? Because I don't, I don't think I have enough platinum. Because, I mean, I obviously have enough platinum, but I only have 85, so um, so I need to look at level 2. So they, they take 20. I, I should be, I think I might be okay. Oh my gosh, no, though. It's 170 copper. Okay, let's just go ahead and, and then research the chest, and then we'll just see if I have enough to research the arms and stuff or everything else. Well, it says maybe, is that is the requirements to make it, or is it just the research data to create it? I think it might be that, so we're going to go ahead and research all the way up. Because I got research data for days. Interesting. Okay, so that's obviously the easy part. The hard part is going to be, do I actually have a shot of making any of that? I think my odds are probably not. Uh, let's see. So there we go. 10, 40, 90. Uh, we might not have enough to make a whole set. So that was for sixes. Can we make a whole set of fives? I mean, yes, on every other count, but it's. I think I don't know. What, I don't know what element that is. 
Um, we're on one of them. We're a little bit low. So this is a Mark IV, and that's only seventy. Oh man. Uh, there we go. Crap, man. I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough. I think it's copper. Yeah, it's copper. I would need a lot more copper. I think. All right, hang on. It's gonna cost an arm and a leg, but I am loaded. So, is it possible by any chance? Um, materials. Do you have copper for sale? Element zero, titanium, iridium, nickel, iron, and magnesium. No, they don't. Not unless it's under a different section, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, no. No, it's not. Well, crap. Okay, while we're here, though. Is there anything special? A remnant decryption key. Heck yeah, we'll take that. Never turn down those, that's for sure. Okay, maybe we'll just maybe we'll try it and then we might be uh, doing some running around buying pieces for what we need. So let's just try making mark maybe a mark fives all the way across. Cause I already know I'm not gonna have enough of that. Maybe we should honestly go mark four. What what am I wearing? Aren't I wearing like something I, I think I'm wearing something really low, like a mark two or something? Aren't I wearing like a really low? Why is my frame rate so atrocious? There we go. It's a little better. Okay, so quick check. What am I wearing? Oh, I, I'm wearing a Mark IV already. So I don't. On, it's not the end of the world if I make an entire set of Mark IV and seven armor. It's actually not the end of the world. So that wouldn't be bad necessarily. Okay, so maybe we'll just try. We'll just settle for. Uh, Mark IV stuff. Is there any actually useful augmentations? Ooh. Biotic, biotic. A. All right, so we're making. See how much of the N7 stuff we can make. N7 Mark IV. Yep, we already don't have enough. I need so much more copper. It's unbelievable. All right, so there is the. I think that's the, the legs. Let's see if we have enough to make the arms. Who I? No, I don't. So I, yeah, I need. I need more copper. I need like, I don't know, almost 300 more copper. Alright, this is my new thing. I want new armor, so this is what we'll be doing. We'll be probably making a lot of cuts as I figure all this crap out. Um, but we're going to try going someplace and see if I can find some fine copper. Okay, so we've been monitoring, or monitoring. We have been mining copper for like an eternity. So that's what I have been doing. Obviously, I'm going to cut all that out because that's about as boring as it gets. But we still don't have enough to make my gun yet. Um, we don't, we don't, or make my armor yet. We, um, so we are going to probably going to go to the Nexus and see if we can buy it because I am just not patient enough. But, um, I wanted to t check this out. So it's a lot less damage, but it has a higher rate of fire. It has more in the clip, more ammo. It's more accurate and it weighs a lot less. <laughs> so if we, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and try it. Um, but we're going to equip anything that will increase its damage. Anything that we can dump on it that will increase its damage would rock my socks. It's less than the clip size, so that's not great. So accuracy, but it's already pretty accurate. I'm, I'm looking for damage. There we go. Okay, so we will try that. So that's so weak. Um, but we are waiting all of this until we can make it. And I already tried, and we can't look and just buy it here. So we are going to run to the Nexus and see if I can buy it. But obviously I will cut out that journey as well. It occurs to me that while we're here, we have some other missions to do here, so obviously we will be hitting all of those before leaving. Um, we are Our other main goal for being here is to giving materials, and uh, we need copper, but but we, we, we'll be doing other stuff while we're here, just saying. Paki, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. His mouse not moving? Awkward. Oh, no, there it goes, delayed. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. 
Uh huh. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Sure, man. We'll help her out. Okay. Not what we're here for, though. I mean, we will be doing a lot of stuff over here, but let's see. Vehicle, general merchant. You might have it. So resources, minerals. Um, beryllium, copper. Okay, I need all of the copper you can give me. It's going to cost me 4,200 credits, but like I said, I am disgustingly rich. So, does it matter? Okay, so while we're here, uh, we're going to see if there's anything else amazing. Like, uh, anything else amazing I should have, like agility mode. I'm assuming that makes you faster on straightaways, but I feel like it's pretty fast already. So we have a, a couple of paint jobs. I like that one. That's cool. We're going to sell some salvage, though. Makes me a little bit of money. Anyway, alright, so. Oh my gosh, the frame rate. Why, though? Ugh, it's like murky... Like walking through murky waters or something. So let's say I don't assume for a second he has anything. And I also don't assume you're going to have anything either. Wow, this guy has an N7 chess piece for money. I'm tempted just to buy it. Yeah, I'm just going to buy the chess piece. Because the chess piece was one of the parts I needed. Because that, that way I know when we're done that we can just... We can just hit it. Okay, anyway, so back to doing stuff that while we're here. So, um, there's a few things that are here that we can do. Okay, so first let's go talk to Hager, the super uh, suspicious spy um, dude. And tell him what we found. All right. First, let's see if we can uh, what we can find right here. Oh yes, Carrie. What's going on, girl? Oh, hey, Ryder. Sup? Team said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. <laughs> you know, they've had other people in the cells, rioters. People crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Hey, thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Alright. I'm a, I'm a hero. I I'm a hero. Alright. Security footage. Drac Speak with Drac on the Nexus. We will do that. But first, we'll talk to talk to Hager first, and then we will talk to other people. Why is Tan up, or why is Hager up here? Hey, man, I found stuff. Ah, Ryder, your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an investigation into Doctor Adden. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adam, but sort of stalled. Salen gave me two leads, but everything I found was inconclusive. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. There's I a shock. I have an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of those ARC officers, Rand Lon, has an apartment here. If he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just see what's there. Roger Dodger. No one's better about snooping in everyone else's business than me. No, I'm kidding. No, that sounds like super antagonistic. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Ryder is constantly doing everything for everybody. These, like, the whole world will be crippled without me. All right, Drac, you big, lovable teddy bear. About this place if the Talk to me. Everything we need on Spender. Heck yeah, man. Front spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike, you know, as a gift. I'm seriously tempted to let you do that. 
You better not be joking because I absolutely will. Whatever floats floats your boat, bud. Said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. Please, incriminate yourself further. Tell us everything they made you do. What do you know, Pathfinder? You weren't there during the mutiny. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. This is a massive security breach. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. The exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! I'm tempted to blame her for it just because I hate her. Oh, that's great. Krogan are gone. Spender forced their hand, and you let him do it. I. Damn it. Damn it! Tan was on my ass about the Krogan so much, I let myself be blind to Spender. You're getting a It is sort of her fault, though. Now. I mean, but she knew he was a scumbag. Our side, when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tam, you need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. So, what about him? Kick him off the station. Let his friends out there deal with him. What? No, you can't do that. They'll kill me. Tough. Your pirate friends are the least of your worries. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. Hey. Taking care of my people one day at a time. Yeah, I mean, it, it is ultimately... A lot of it is Addison's fault. That I like talking smack because I don't like her. But... It's not like it was a mystery that Spender was just not a classy individual, so it really shouldn't be shocking to find out that he's been doing stuff on the side. So she's like, I mean, I think I think if I recall, she talks earlier about not liking him. It's, you know, about, so, so she was aware to some degree that he wasn't a great guy. It really shouldn't be surprising that he was selling us out to the Exiles. And, and vice versa, that he was selling the Exiles out to us, that he's just playing both sides. He's, he's a scumbag. It's not surprising. So we can stop pretending it is. He finally got what's coming to him. All right. Meanwhile, snooping in the apartment complexes. I don't know, just gotta find which one is his. I may be able to hack this. I'll find out. Already done. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Hager mentioned. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the sky tree. Count. They came from a remote world. So Rand Lawn, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. Scanner is prepped, Pathfinder. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? Breaking and entering. Rand Lawn. Yes, you're the one who saved our ark. What are you doing here? Tempted to be honest with him. That's I'm great. conducting an investigation about the Solarian Ark. I wanted to check a few things. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose I'll have to make the time. What do you need? I'd like to ask Dr. Adden a few questions. Do you know him or where he is? Oh, yes. Adden's some sort of biologist. We were among the first to wake up. Difficult times. I haven't seen him since the Ark was rescued. Why Adden? Salen Varn mentioned. Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. 
They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. I don't know who to believe now. Awesome. Back to Elodin. I might just ignore it. <laughs> or we might actually go back. It's hard to say. Anyway, um, looks like we have something up here. Open sesame. Nice work out there. The geophysics VI is well ahead of the curve. Knew it. As promised, when consultants phone us, less expenses. Enjoy. Hey. It was super great that they are all talking at once. That was just not not annoying at all. Okay, so I knew there was something else to do here. Uh, let's. Oh yes, the final memory. Done, done, done. And then we will equip. Go equip my new armor. I also can't wait to try out my new sniper rifle. That will be awesome. All right, the final unlocked memory. What is happening? What does it all mean? The culmination of so much work on our dad's background. Sam! It's going down, diggity diggity doll. Writer, wonderful I'm so sorry. Memories is available. Oh man, I'm ready. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is Bulcrum? That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Oh man. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days in the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son Garrus. He works there now. See oh! Sorry. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Oh! Ah! Sorry. This threat, they're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. Oh, man. So, if the commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. That backstory, though. It was Garrus's dad, man. That's so sick. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Then we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Oh! Oh, man. Sam. Dat revealed, and there's me, dying. There's still hope for your mother. <laughs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam? This is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. 
Helen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover Hugh had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure Hugh and Scott could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted Hugh with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alec's quarters. Now we know what Jean Garson meant, but something big spooks the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched oh! <laughs> a in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. But why was Gian Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was or is the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over six hundred years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Oh, man. How about that? What are the odds? So that's so, so there's the reveal, is that Mom is alive, and Dad hid it from us, and we can go see her. Now, the other thing is that they knew about... Uh, they knew as they knew about the Reapers. My question is, how did the Benefactor know about the Reapers? Because that's kind of privileged information. So that's my question, but I don't think it's anything that ever gets answered. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. This is Palavin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primark Fedorian is dead. Our units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down. Yeah, that's not good. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hacken has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, <laughs> Oh, this must be super terrifying and depressing for Shepard to hear. Or, er, sorry, Shepard. <laughs> for Ryder to hear in this galaxy, because obviously it's so long later. Hello. Jen, I 
Got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Wow. So how so how's that, you know? So now Ryder is I guess the only one that's privy to this insano information. Anyway, so we will uh, go meet my brother and go find mom because apparently she's not dead. How about that? And it's trippy because obviously Ryder, you know, I mean, you know, Ryder senior uh, and, and somehow the benefactor knew all about the whole Reaper thing. So they sped up their original timetable to get out of the galaxy sooner because they knew it was all coming. I still would love to know how the benefactor knew at all. Um, but it's interesting. It's interesting. So yeah, that, that, so they they all knew about it. I wonder what the rest of all the people here are going to think about finding out that their galaxy back home might be in shambles. I think that would be a little bit aggressive. Hello, everybody. It is Argyle Makala. What attitude? I've been nothing but nice the entire time. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to choose. No, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. What the heck was that, Subi? What was that? No! Can I set up my own? I don't want to choose between my old friends and my new friends. Ah! Thank you all so much for watching, and we will talk to you all later.